Hey, I'm BB Pro, John Neal Jackson. I'm here at Destination. Today, we're doing buys and tries. Got a lot of things going on. If you find yourself in the same situation I'm in, when you're limited with time, then I combine my body parts. So today, I'm doing buys and tries, and uh, we're gonna smoke through it. Today, I'm gonna start with concentration curls. I think this is one of the better exercises to start with because of the concentrate on the biceps. You wanna get in here and get it done, but you wanna activate that muscle you're working right away. And this time I'm going back and forth. I'm not gonna go straight bicep and then straight tricep. I'm gonna go back and forth, bicep, tricep. I use a machine, it sets you in place. You know, it helps you stay balanced. So I start out with something like this to help me warm up the bicep as well as put some weight on there so you can put some pressure on it. Always remember, first go with some light weight to warm your biceps up. Also, full range of motion is very important. Whew, did you see them biceps? You ain't seen nothing yet. I normally go 15, four sets, 15 reps. Mind you, four sets, the first rep, the first set is a warm up set. So really light, 15 reps, then three work sets of 15 reps. I max out the reps, not necessary to wait when I'm maxing out the you know sets and reps, just so I can push more blood in there for conditioning, but also a little bit of muscle building as well. Shit. So you have to set your body up first. First of all, warm-up set is good to teach your body what you're about to do. Whatever that first exercise is, you get on it, barely put any weight at all, then you perform the exercise. This sets your brain and muscle and body up to say, connect. And this is what I'm doing right now for the next five to 10 to 15 minutes. I need you to be on point, let me warm it up to be able to take more weight after the warm-up set. Woo, this is an excellent machine, wow. I have to admit, this is uh, pretty much, I think the first time I ever used this tricep machine. Sometimes I always refer to free weights being better than machines, but this particular machine, you have to balance yourself. I had to connect and activate my core, so I balanced myself, as well as, you know, this. these things move quite a bit. So you have to stabilize yourself. So you use a stabilizing muscle to stabilize your shoulders and your arms to keep them in place to perform the exercise. Wow, I'm impressed. From bicep, I'm on the tricep. Same rep range, 15 reps, um, one warm up, and now three work sets. <clears throat> Okay, so this time I'm gonna do something slightly different. Instead of doing bicep and then tricep, I'm gonna do bicep, tricep all at one time. I'm gonna start with a reverse grip, tricep extension. I love these, um, especially doing it individually because uh, you get a really good squeeze on your tricep while doing this. So I'm gonna do my right, do my left, then I'm gonna go into front double bicep doing the cable. In the past, when I used to see this exercise, I used to think, oh my God, like this guy's just trying to show off, show his biceps. But once I started doing this exercise, I was like, wow, you really get a good squeeze. So I never thought about it, but you're on stage or practicing, your posing on your front double bicep and you go into your front double bicep and you hold, your posing coach normally make you hold it. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, this is the same thing. But then you got the cable, with the cable, you got constant resistance on you, and then you got the weight on top of the constant resistance. So what an excellent exercise this actually end up being. So while doing this, two things you have to remember, and it's all about the elbows here. When you're doing the tricep extensions, you gotta keep your elbows down, don't lift your elbows up. Don't come up and you know get that momentum because you're using more shoulder. You wanna keep your elbow down in place, and just when you're doing bicep here you want to keep your elbows up you don't want to come down and then come up because you're again you're putting a little more pressure on your shoulder 
So you want to keep your elbows up and curl here. This is one of the things I like to finish with my bicep and tricep workout is dumbbells. You work individual size and doing that, you're able to up and squeeze a lot better and really concentrate on that bicep and making it better. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last time. I'm not gonna do three sets of uh, bicep curls and then go into triceps. I'm kind of like um, pressed on time. So I'm gonna combine it, you know, alternating dumbbell curls first, and then I'm gonna go into uh, lying skull crushers. With the bicep, pretty simple groove, you know, straight down, straight up. <clears throat> But as you can see, and if you pay attention to where I'm doing uh, the skull crushers, straight down as I come up, I usually twist a little bit outward, the dumbbell. It's more control of my tricep and a better squeeze and better flex on my tricep, gearing out a little bit, okay? Just a little tip. <clears throat> Yeah. <sighs>